And have you seen Fellowship before? I have not you seen have Fellowship. Not. This is your first time. So yes. how did you find out about it? Uh, a friend of mine has actually wrote and directed it. Excellent. Yes. Uh, which which one? Joel McCreary. Joel? Excellent. Yes. You yeah. got to talk to him earlier. He's a really good guy. Great. So did you know anything about this while he was writing it? A little bit, yes. I knew that he was working on kind of a uh, parody spoof of uh, Lord of the Rings. So, uh, so did yeah. you think it was a good idea or do you think it was crazy? Great idea. Great idea? Yeah, so so okay. marketable. It needed more song, I thought. I thought the three movies were way too long, actually. Yeah. Besides the battle scenes, I thought it could use a little song and dance. So I think Joel might have struck a nerve. This was great. Uh, Kelly and I were at the dog park many years ago. Of course. Of course. And uh, we were uh, laughing about everything that's being turned into musicals that really probably shouldn't be. And uh, one of the ones that we, we started thinking of things that should never, ever, ever be a musical. And uh, this was one of the ones that came up. And uh, we said, unless it was funny on purpose. I was sitting in a dog park with Joel McCrary. I love that part. And um, we were <laughs> non-working actors at the time. One of us still is. Um, and uh, we were talking about um, things that should never be turned into musicals. We went through The Matrix, I believe was one of them. Um, we had another good one. I can't remember it now. Maybe Schindler's List. Um, but uh, Lord of the Rings, for some reason, really resonated with us. And we both were huge fans of the movie. But uh, we thought, you know, there's some, there's some great drama in there that could use a little... Uh, poking at. So then um, it was, I remember it was uh, right before the holidays and then uh, we came back from the holidays and said, remember we were talking about that Lord of the Rings musical? It's like, yeah, we should really do that. Yeah, we really should. And so I said, I'm free tomorrow. Uh, well, so am I. Okay, come over and we'll, we'll start. And we did. We started working on it and usually you get excited about these things and then a week later you drop the ball You're and done. do yeah. something else. And we kept writing and we kept writing and we're like, wow, there's this really needs to get out. So um, we wrote it, and when we were writing it, we had all our friends' voices in our mind, because um, we're crazy. And um, um, we threw everybody in a room and did a reading and realized, wow, we really have something here. And then we did the next step, which was to get everybody together and write all the songs. And we got Alan on board, and, uh, and then that's how the magic happened. Uh, well, I've been doing comedy with uh, Joel and Kelly, the writers of the show, for uh, many years, for a really long time. And when they first developed the show, uh, they'd written a few parts with some of us in mind. And uh, I guess I was um, lucky enough to be considered for the for the part when it was created. Uh, I got involved when uh, Kelly and Joel uh, sent me an email and said, uh, do you want to come to a reading? Which I thought, okay, I'll do a reading and it'll end there. And uh, what is this, eight years later and I'm still doing the show. Oh man, this was, uh, was it 2004? Got a call from Joel wow. and Kelly saying, hey, we've got this idea. We're just, we're gonna put this show up for a couple of weeks just to see, you know, because we all want to work together. And they're like, we want you to play Frodo. And so they brought us in and, you know, we improvised all the music to the point where it's what you'll hear now. We kept reiterating it until we were like, all right, yeah, we got it. I think we wrote all the music in like a week. Something ridiculous. <laughs> Because we thought this was just going to go for a couple of weeks. Awesome. And then here we are eight years later, if I'm doing the math right. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it was it was a, a dream dropped in my lap is what it felt like because uh, uh, Joel and Kelly came to me and said that they had this crazy idea of turning Fellowship of the Ring into a musical uh, uh, and a comedy at that and what I'd be interested in. So the, the two things I've been most passionate about in my life, music and my geek badges, um, you know, sort of came together in this epic uh, explosion, awesome. yeah, uh, collision. and. It was just a dream come true. The, the The biggest task for me was all the music that has come before the show, and then that th th was even coming out even as we were writing the show because we we started on this before Return of the King really even hit, but Fellowship and Two Towers had already been out. Uh, uh, the movies, I mean, right. and so there was all this amazing Howard Shore music there, but I didn't want to I didn't want to parody the music because I felt like. I don't know if Joel already mentioned this, but we always felt like any choice we ever made about the comedy of the show, we wanted it to feel more in keeping with Galaxy Quest than Spaceballs. Awesome. Not that I don't love Spaceballs, but the difference between those two movies, one feels like it's sort of on the inside, making fun of something it loves, mm -hmm. which is Galaxy Quest. Mm -hmm. Spaceballs kind of feels like it's on the outside, poking fun at something it doesn't understand. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. How did you first find out about Fellowship? Uh, because it was invented in my apartment. Awesome. <laughs> well, so partially, the music. I am married to the composer Alan Simpson, awesome. and as well as a fellow improviser with most of the Very, very cool. What was, what was that like, watching all of this happening? Oh, incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Especially because I, I got to uh, hear the music 
um, be creative, but I didn't know the book, so I came in on a rehearsal at one point, sort of later later in the in the rehearsal process in the first run, um, just to be an outside eye. And I knew the music was good, and I knew it was going to be funny because it's all my friends. I had no idea it would be as great as it was. Well, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing the show tonight. Have fun. Laugh loud. Oh, we will, okay. especially her. Oh, okay.